Other counties, such as Wharton, also recognize that having a restored courthouse can be a catalyst for economic development in their communities. I think for the town of Wharton, it's going to make a dramatic impact on the downtown courthouse square. We've already begun to see some interest in buying historic buildings and restoring them. Wharton County leaders developed a master plan to completely restore their 1889 courthouse. The county applied for funding from the Texas Historical Commission's Courthouse Preservation Program. The restoration of the Wharton County Courthouse is one of the most exciting restorations in the Texas Historic Courthouse Preservation Program. Essentially, they're taking a building that was in its 1930s, 1940s appearance and returning it back to its original historic appearance. Wharton preservationists wanted the courthouse restored to its 1889 Victorian look, but there were no blueprints to be found. After years of researching old records and photographs, a design of the original building was formulated. Uh, this is the earliest picture that we have of the courthouse from about 1903. And it shows the, uh, the building as we're going to be reconstructing, particularly the, the upper roofs. Uh, we've used a computerized drawing overlaid on this uh, original photograph to get the, the sizes and slopes of the original roof members. So this is what the building will start to look like a little bit later this summer as the roof areas are reconstructed. Well, right now, what you're seeing is the, uh, the final stages of removing the uh, masonry, the uh, plaster that was put on in the 1930s and 40s. The interior of the courthouse was also gutted to be completely renovated and updated. Gradually, the new roof began to take shape. As the look of the building changed, county residents took notice of the restoration. Many gathered at local coffee shops to watch the construction. This has been a controversial deal that started in the 1970s, whether they ought to tear it down and build a new one. And so this has been a 30-year struggle, and we're within a year of seeing it complete. In August of 2005, Wharton residents gathered on the courthouse square to watch as the massive clock tower was to be lifted to the top of the building. The new clock tower is an exact replica of the original. The new clock was fabricated in Kentucky and trucked down to Wharton in two sections. The clock is uh, an identical clock to the original, uh, built the same year, 1889, uh, which was salvaged from a church in Pennsylvania that was being dismantled. Uh, and it has been restored to, to operate here. One reason a courthouse's bell tower was so tall was to conceal the mechanics of the clock. Even though the clock was lost, the courthouse bell had been saved. The bell was salvaged by the First Baptist Church here, and it stayed at the First Baptist Church until last year when it was returned to the county. First, the huge base of the tower was lifted to the roof. After some last-minute technical issues were resolved, the crane began to raise the cap of the tower. It was carefully lowered into position as the workers guided it into place. The Wharton clock will continue to operate the old-fashioned way. It will be wound by hand. It's an eight-day clock, which means it's got two weight systems on there. One weight system drives the timing mechanism, and one weight system drives the striking of the bell. It'll run by itself for eight days, and the weight systems will hit the bottom of their run. So every seven days, I go up to the clock and wind the clock. It usually takes me about 30 minutes to wind the clock once I get started. Finally, after 70 years, the Wharton County Courthouse had its clock back. Now, 3 o'clock in Wharton, Texas. Wharton residents now seemed pleased with the restoration of their courthouse. They're thrilled with what they're seeing unfold. It's, it's like a, a butterfly coming out of a cocoon because it was covered up. No one had any concept of what it was like uh, 
Five or six years ago, it was a pretty controversial issue. When we started talking about it years ago, these people are crazy. They don't know what they're doing. There's no building under there. Who wants to save it? As the procedure has progressed and they can see what's going to happen, they are enthusiastic about it. Rebuilding the clock tower on the courthouse has created an enormous sense of pride with Wharton residents and has given a new look to the downtown. This is kind of like putting the icing on the cake. At everybody's supper table, the topic of conversation is, have you driven by the courthouse lately to see what it looks like? The restoration of the historic 1889 Wharton County Courthouse is nearly complete and it resonates with the people of Wharton. I'm very proud of the way it looks. I really believe that the courthouse is the heartbeat of the community right now. If you don't take care of your history, you don't have much future. And, uh, and so when we preserve our history here in Wharton County, that shows that we do care. This is the wonderful thing about architecture, that it lives on way beyond the architect. He passed away in 1901, and here we are more 100 years later, and we're still enjoying his buildings. We love this town. We love this building. And when it's finished, it's going to be what we call our castle on the Colorado. And we love it.